all right so in this section we'll be looking at how to generate uh, alua reporting and we are going to integrate it with the cucumber bdd test framework now what i have decided to do is we i have tried to depict these as stepwise approach okay and it is very important because if we miss any of the steps it might not work okay so alua has undergone a lot of changes and the one which i am showing currently is the latest one uh, with in relation to the BDD test framework as well and uh, I'll give you the documentation of our specifically configuration that has to be done so if you look at this particular link of Alvar, okay so this is Alvar documentation official documentation and this is cucumber JVM specific documentation so if you look from this perspective there are a good number of configurations that you have to really do i will go through all the steps sequentially okay and so that you will not have any issues as such but i'm giving the reference document link here as well if you get to stuck somewhere kindly go through this documentation but i will give the stepwise approach as well so i'll just minimize this and i'll come back to the steps that i have defined already all right so the step number one is you will have to check the version of cucumber that you have in your framework okay so the version of cucumber that i have in my framework is cucumber 6 okay this is very important to understand because this is how we you will have to configure the dependency of the allure in your pom.xml okay so step number one is to determine what version of cucumber you have in your framework which is important Step number two is you need to add the plugin of Alua support in IntelliJ. Okay, this also I will show how we have to do this. Step number three is very important. Make changes to your pom.xml. So you will have a maven pom.xml in your project as such and you will have to make changes in that pom.xml. The first thing in that is you will have to add a dependency of Alua Cucumber 6 hyphen JVM. Okay, now this is important because I am specifically using Cucumber 6 in my framework. That's the reason I am telling that you will have to configure the dependency of Alvar hyphen Cucumber 6 hyphen JVM. Now, if you have Cucumber 7, which is the latest one currently in the market, go for Alvar Cucumber 7 hyphen JVM under dependency stack. So, in pom.xml, there should be dependency stack. You should add this particular dependency. Uh, related to cucumber 6 jvm second point related to pom.xml is you need to add a dependency of alvar hyphen j unit hyphen platform under dependency stack okay so this is another dependency that you have to add you need to add dependency management tag for allure version so i'll touch base on that as well what you have to specifically add and the fourth point is that you need to add the build tag for the aspect j weaver okay so aspect j weaver is a mechanism that uh, through the build process you will be able to create some dependencies which is important as well i'll show you that aspect step number four is add properties file so in your project you have to add a lower properties the location exactly where you want your results to get stored okay and j unit hyphen platform dot properties the cucumber plugin details so you, this also i'll show you how it has to be done step number five is make changes to the test runner file for the plugin details this is important because your test runner file has to call this particular plugin okay and you have to install a lower command line through npm okay so i will show you that aspect as well so these are the six steps that you have to perform in order to generate the allure report into your project now let's see practically how you really can do that so this is my cucumber uh, that is the bdd framework that we have been looking perspective okay the first step that we had to perform is you have to understand what cucumber test that you have okay cucumber version do you have you used in your project as such so i'll go to pom.xml and just to refresh our memory what we cucumber version we have used is cucumber 6.1 how would you be able to understand is if you go to dependencies you might have already used cucumber in your um, framework as such so we have used 6 version okay so it is evident that we use cucumber 6 okay we have understood okay the 6 version is uh, the cucumber framework now the second step that we had 
looked is you need to add the plugin of allure support in intellij okay so how do you do that is you go to files and in the settings once the settings model opens up you can go to plugins and in the plugins you can search here as allure and you will be getting as allure test ops support okay so this one i have already installed in intellij and if you have not installed yet kindly go ahead and install in your intellij okay so that was our step number two step number e3 is you have to make changes to your power maximal okay so first thing that we have to do is you have to add the dependency okay so i'll just open this up and i'll show the pom.xml and uh, i'll show that uh, under the dependency so i'll go to the dependencies okay so i have added here as allure cucumber j6 allure hyphen cucumber 6 hyphen jvm okay so this is one aspect that i have added i have to add allure j unit platform as well so what i have added here is allure hyphen j unit 4 okay which is important you need to provide this details as well and this comes from your uh, library which is io.cometa.alvar okay so make sure you are getting this particular cometa.alvar and all this has been provided in this documentation from where you have to exactly take this library you have to add the dependency management i have scroll up you'll be able to see that i have added kokum i have added here as a dependency management okay there are a couple of dependencies over here as you can see that there are uh, dependencies related to allure bomb as well as JUnit bomb okay this contains the dependency management apart from that you have to add the build tag now inside this build tag you can see that there is a maven surefire plugin and there is an argument line that we are passing as a committer plugin we are calling over here and apart from that i am providing the aspect aspect jweaver okay so this is important as well that i have added inside the build tag so once you have added this in your pom.xml what you can do is you can go for add properties okay so once i open up here under source under test there are a couple of uh, properties i have added that is allure.property now the allure.property i have provided the details of allure.results.directory so what it will do is it will create allure results as such and junit platform.properties okay here i have provided the details of the cucumber.plugin details all right now once that is done you have to make changes in your test runner file okay so what i'll do is i'll open up the test runner file under java folder and under test runner file i have modified this particular line which is line number 12 little bit now you can see that i have added io.cometa.alvar.cucumber6 jvm.alvar.cucumber6 jvm okay so i am providing the details of the plugin so test runner file should ideally call this plugin once this is done what you can do is you need to install alvar command line through npm now how do you do that is i have shown here specifically if i go up if you haven't really installed allure command line yet what you can do is you can run npm install hyphen allure hyphen command line hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev now once you do that you can see that there will be uh, an update happening you you can see one package is changed what it means is it already was present that is the allure command line but having said that it has got updated now now just provide these details in your command in command prompt or you can come to the terminal of intellij and you can just run this particular command all right so once these configurations are done what you can do is because i have already created the allure report and allure result i'll just delete these folders so that it's fresh all right now i have deleted it and as we have three tests under our feature as you can see there is a general user dot general view user view dot feature logged in dot feature new user registration dot feature all right now i'll come to test runner file i'll just play or run and our test will run all right so the first test has already started 
as you can see it's a general view all right so second test has started which is related to logged in user and third test has started which is related to new user registration all right three tests have ran and three tests have passed and as a result as you can see that there is a new folder which has got created called allure hyphen results okay now this will store all the details which has really ran what you can do is you can come to terminal and then you can run a command which is allure generate allure hyphen results hyphen hyphen clean hyphen o allure hyphen report okay now these the first results or error results have been stored in .json file. Some are in attachment.html container.json, which is not readable as such. But this particular command, which is allure generate allure hyphen results hyphen hyphen clean o allure hyphen report. Once we enter this, a report will get generated. Now you can see a new report has got generated. And over here there is an index.html okay so now you can right click move to open in and then browser and click on chrome and once you open this up you can see when exactly this has been run at which date how much time it has really taken so it has taken around 23 seconds which is duration you can click on general view locked in view as well as new user registration okay so once you click on here particular step you will be able to see that there are three test steps and exactly how much time it has really taken okay so in logged in user as well as new user so this is how a beautiful report gets generated it gives a kind of a pie chart as well it gives a uh, line by line aspects it gives a graphical view as well and you will be able to see how much time it really takes and you can see the categories there are no categories as such you can see the suites the timelines how much time it has really taken and uh, for the sake of looking at the report what i will purposefully do is i'll purpose purposefully fail a test okay so what i'll do is i'll go to a test features now i'll go to this one and i'll modify a test okay i'm just failing a test just to see how it really appears in the report so i'll just run this again all right so the first test is running and it has failed which we wanted it to fail second test has run it has passed and third test has run and it has passed as well so two tests have passed one test has failed out of three now what i will do is i'll go to terminal command and run the report again in fact generate the report and if i go to index.html i'll go in the browser and open up the report as such all right now you can see out of three two have passed and one has failed okay so it is very important to understand from our perspective uh, how the graph looks like most of the times the test might fail as well but it is important how it really looks from a report perspective so i'll just go back and revert it so that the test passes as well but hope you understand how to configure the alva report in our bdd framework as a report helps us to determine how much from the duration perspective date perspective as well as test perspective and uh, the whole project has been already pushed into a github public repository which i'll be sharing in my description as well kindly like share and subscribe our channel for more details like this happy coding and and happy automation testing